Yeah, let's go into operability because some yeah. people thought I was about to say is operability. Let's do operability. Um, so for everyone, <clears throat> operability is how you access it. Do you access it by keyboard only? Can you only use a mouse? Is it braille, just you know, braille keyboards only, or is it touch only? Everyone has different requirements. Operability is a big one. It is, and it often relies on the the ability to be able to um, develop your system so that you can uh, allow for multiple devices to access the information that you're providing. Um, whether that's actually through <clears throat> um, mouse or through touchpad or via keyboard control, it, it it all it all comes down to providing access to the information for everyone, and um, so yeah, I I still see some big issues with keyboard, um, and that's probably understandable in the sense that most developers use a mouse to click on various controls. They sometimes should remember that they you know maybe they need to you know put the mouse to sleep and. You know, give it a go with the keyboard to give it to give to give it an, a, a test. Um, and for people like you and I, obviously we can't use a mouse, or well, most of us can, but uh, we probably don't use a mouse as much as say a person with sight, because we use the keyboard to um, control the the way our computers work um, in and uh, interacting with our screen readers. So we don't. Uh, we don't have the access sometimes that you would think it would have in some websites. So what's the problems that I see? Mm, tab order's not being followed correctly. So when you press tab, it's not going from A to B. It's sometimes it goes from A to C and then back to B. Um, other aspects are that you go into a dialog box and you can't get out of it by pressing the escape key. I think that's what you and I have probably found for oh, the most. Yep. And even the menus, menus. Yeah. Go for it. Menus are sometimes the big ones because you don't know whether you're inside a menu or outside the menu. And mm -hmm. when when you are inside the menu, pressing the escape key generally won't get you outside the menu, which is sometimes not a very good uh, yeah. feeling because you get frustrated because you're not sure where you are. So things like that. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll throw one more in. Skip to main content. So that is a piece of code that people don't see visually, but when you use a keyboard, you always hit it. And what it should do is if the page is constructed properly, you've got your menu up in your heading, skip to main content will drop you down into the body of the website. So you don't have to go through the, med the menu every time. It's a major one that is missing in a lot of websites. And I think sometimes the big one for me, and it's not so such a big problem anymore because I think some newer libraries are out and there's a mm -hmm. lot more accessibility included. But sometimes in the older websites, especially where you look at um, uh, workplace type um, tools, um, when you press the button for menus, it's not telling us whether it's expanded or collapsed. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that can be a bit tricky as well for people, especially if they're trying to do their jobs day in, day out. Um, and they're trying to find a certain menu item, and if they're not sure where they are, it sort of um, yeah, it makes it a bit difficult. So yeah, um, but uh, that, as I said, that's now improving, so it's a little bit better these days. Yeah. But 